Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today I'm checking out a really cool charger, free wire. Let's get into it. Okay, so I was on the phone with um, Plug Insights, if you know him at all. Anyways, and he told me that they had these chargers live uh, out in Western Maryland. So I thought, well, I'd like to go check this out. Um, I always thought that Freewire was a really cool company and this was a really cool um, concept. And I have been eager to see what it is all about. So I'm gonna kind of show you around the unit and then we're gonna plug in and then kind of give you my thoughts. All right, so what's, what's so cool about these units? Well, <clears throat> These are DC output, but basically it's AC input. Um, so for a lot of the high powered um, DC fast charging installations, they have to bring in um, extra electric uh, from the grid and get a whole big transformer put in and everything like that. And it takes time and costs a lot of money. But with these, typically my understanding is they can use the existing um, grid connection and they can just run AC in and it charges up a battery inside, and then it goes DC out uh, to the car, and it's a all-in-one unit, um, which is really cool. Now, is you know 70-some uh, kilowatts gonna like you know change my life? No, not really. But what this does is it allows for um, faster installations of DC fast charging in places that really need it, uh, and maybe it's harder to bring um, extra power to which is um, really cool. Um, I live in a pretty rural area and we have pretty much no um, uh, DC fast charging infrastructure at all. And something like this makes it a lot easier for people to bring um, charging to people who need it. All right, everybody, I've plugged in pages in the NIACs. It did work and it is firing up now. Plugged in, have some Rima cables, 300 amp Rima cables. And currently it's outputting at 76 kilowatts. It shows my uh, battery percentage, energy delivered. It shows the running total going up kind of like a gas pump, which is actually pretty cool. I like that. Um, yeah, I really like the interface uh, with this. Uh, see, they have Chatmo. Maybe they'll get rid of those one day and put on some um, NACS J3400. But yeah, pretty cool interface here. All right, everybody, I do want to point out, it's kind of loud. You can hear the fans running in there. This metal panel here kind of, kind of rattles, which causes that loud noise. Very interesting. Another touch I like about this unit is on my side where I'm charging, it has the green. And I think, I can't tell if that <laughs> corresponds to the how much charge is in the battery. Oh, of the charger or not, but it's kind of cool. And then on this side, it says it's red, so it's, you can't charge here. And then it even gives a little note here. So if someone were to come up, they would hopefully read that and see that, oh, I can't charge, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool. All right, wrapping up the charging session here. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so I'll do that. We'll turn it. Plug it in. Hmm. Everything's so much harder with one hand. I kind of, I do like how that kind of locks in like that, drops down and click done. And a nice little layout there. Interesting, there's no tax. All right, everybody, I'm gonna give my final thoughts here about this free wire charger. Um, I think it's super cool. I think it's a great idea, like I said earlier. Um, it'd be really good for uh, rural applications. Um, they can just bring them in, wire them up, uh, it charges the battery. Also too, for rural applications, say there's a power outage, maybe if there's a bunch of these, these could back feed into the grid, um, or at least the site host location, which would be a really uh, a nice perk for the site host. I'm sure that I'm sure that's possible and th that they can do that, which is really neat. Um, a couple interesting things with this scenario, if someone can comment down below why, sometimes people know more than I do, um, but this is, um, a 300 amp output for the car. So theoretically the ID4 should be able to get about 100 kilowatts um, of output. And I was only getting 70 something. Um, so I wonder if that was because the battery was too low um, and it limits the output, which is fine, honest, honestly, I didn't, I didn't mind. And um, 
I was just kind of charging here to show you all this cool um, charger or if maybe there's something else going on. And I did even check the cable and it's a 300 amp cable, so it should have been outputting um, the full 300 amps, uh, and it wasn't. So my guess would be the battery was low, uh, and that's why. Um, so maybe um, <laughs> if, if you can figure out how much battery is in the charger, go to the one that is a little bit more full, uh, which is fine. I am pretty sure to, if the battery fully um, discharges, well, obviously not fully, but down to wherever the, the bottom buffer is. When you go to plug in, you'll still get a charge, but it'll just be um, the power coming in uh, from the grid, which I'm not sure if that's 22 kilowatts or it's, it's around there, um, which, which isn't great, but it's still better than a really slow AC charger. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Really cool, um, great installation. Um, and again, this is in Western Maryland. It's right off um, I-70, it's at uh, a gas station, the A, C, and T Mart. Um, and if this wasn't here, there really isn't much charging between here and um, or really any other charger. The next one is in Hancock, which is just a 62 and a half kilowatt um, CV250 um, charge point unit, uh, which is also, not the best and this is a little bit better and I think you can get a uh, higher um, specs of this with a little bit more output but honestly I think this is fine you know 100 kilowatts is, it, uh, if it actually outputs 100 kilowatts like it's supposed to isn't the end of the world especially if you need to charge in a relatively charging desert um, now what are the issues with these chargers well uh, from what I can tell they're a little bit more expensive obviously because there is a, a battery and batteries are expensive um, but as far as time and as far as having to bring in or maybe expand um, how much uh, electricity a site is getting from the grid, um, that can be costly and timely. And so this is a much better solution just to get, get charging quick to places that need it. Uh, and I think that's a great idea. So again, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, tour, I guess of this free wire unit. Maybe you've seen some stuff about it before, but I think they're really cool. Uh, and if you live in a rural community, maybe um, push uh, the, your locality to get some of these installed so you can have some DC fast charging. Um, there's grants out there they could use and kind of uh, help improve infrastructure where the improvement is needed. And hopefully Nevi will do that too. But anyways, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, please give a like, a subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on X, and I will catch you all next time.